It's 20 towns in 20 days on Eyewitness News, sponsored by Big Y. It's no big surprise, it's my Big Y. 20 Towns in 20 Days continues tonight in Wallingford, a town with plenty of history. Channel 3's Matt McFarlane is standing by downtown at the Railroad Green and Gazebo. Hi, Matt. Hi there, Denise and Dennis. Well, Century located uh, Wallingford 91 and 15. They run both through it. So it's uh, located between Hartford and New Haven. So it's close to plenty of things, but it also has that small town feel. And that's what plenty of folks who live and work here love about it. It's a great place to live. It's safe, it's close, it's got a nice community, good schools. Settled in 1670, Wallingford has come a long way from its agricultural roots, though you can still see the final resting place of some of its founding fathers at the historic Center Street Cemetery. Downtown Town Hall was originally the town's first high school, named after Lyman Hall, a Wallingford native who signed the Declaration of Independence. It's also home to the campus of Choate Rosemary Hall, a private boarding school which dates back to the late 1800s and boasts alums like President John F. Kennedy and movie stars like Michael Douglas and Glenn Close. I love the town. There's so many things uh, very close to my office, uh, coffee shops, restaurants, uh, nice stores. I can walk. Uh, on Center Street, I can walk on Main Street. Wallingford also has its own electric division, providing energy to customers in town along with parts of North Brantford. For those looking for recreational opportunities, there's Wharton Brook State Park, which is in both Wallingford and neighboring North Haven. The park reopened back in the winter after last May's tornado brought down dozens of trees. And if it's entertainment you're after, the Oakdale, right off the Wilbercross Parkway, has been entertaining fans with concerts and shows since the 1950s just one of the many options in town. In the summer, on the green right there, there's free concerts, and it's a really good time. And get some, you know, nice community and friends over and have like a little meal on the green, and it's fun. Now, coming up 5.30, we're going to introduce you to a pantry here in town, a food pantry that's doing so much for the community.